Hey friends, it's me, Pastor Doug, with another word of encouragement for the day for today, Friday, May 20th. This week, we are continuing to explore a section of scripture commonly referred to as the Sermon on the Mount. It contains some of Jesus' perhaps most famous teachings on a variety of subjects, including divorce and uh, human sexuality and money and prayer and all kinds of really important topics, including anger. And so this week, we've been looking specifically at this issue of anger and exploring what the scriptures have to say about anger. And what I want to read to you today is out of 2 Timothy chapter 2, verses 23 and 24, where Paul instructs his young protege, Timothy, with these words. He says, don't have anything to do with foolish and stupid arguments. I love that. That should be uh, in, in the training for anybody who is asking to use Facebook or Twitter, right? They should have to sign uh, a, a statement saying that they will not engage in foolish and stupid arguments. Man, oh man, what would people even do on Twitter and Facebook, right? Anyway, he says, don't have anything to do with foolish and stupid arguments because you know that they produce quarrels, and let the Lord's servant must not be quarrelsome, but must be kind to everyone, able to teach and not resentful. So again, Paul is instructing his young protege, Timothy. He's left Timothy in a particular area to be a pastor and to lead. Um, and so he's instructing Timothy on how Timothy is to lead and what kind of character Timothy is, is to have. And I think this is instructive for us as well because we live in a culture where it seems like everyone is arguing about everything. Now, don't get me wrong. There are a lot of things going around today that we need to be willing to speak up on issues that we need to be uh, able to, to defend or have a perspective or have an opinion, whether that's, you know, things in our home with our spouse or family members um, or, or uh, conversations at work. We need to be able to disagree, of course. So, so I'm not saying that it's inappropriate for us to ever have an argument or for us to ever disagree. No, I think there are many things that it's important for us to, to take a stand on. Uh, but he talks about not being quarrelsome. See, that's a, that's a, that's a, characteristic. Uh, that's a description of someone's nature. A and sure, there may be times that you and I need to engage in a healthy debate or a healthy argument and present our view in a way that's passionate, but that's very different than being characterized as being quarrelsome. And friends, I just have to wonder if Christians too often are being characterized in homes, in workplaces, in the public square as, as quarrelsome like just difficult to get along with. And again, there's nothing wrong with having a strong perspective about something that matters. Uh, there's nothing wrong with, with clearly defending a position on, a, on, a, uh, on an issue. Like that's, that's not wrong. Um, but to do that in a way that's kind, to, to do that in a way that's compassionate, to do that in a way that isn't importing resentment and outrage into the conversation. I think that is what Paul is getting at here and how he's encouraging Timothy and how the word of God might be encouraging you and me. So friends, I hope this encourages you today. Um, I sure hope that you'll join us this Sunday for our weekend services as we celebrate the Lord together. I um, hope you'll be able to join us in person, but if you can't join us in person, you can certainly join us online on YouTube. Uh, and then we'll pick these videos back up on Monday. We'll see you then. Thank you.